This adventure begins in Buenos Aires, Argentina with my best childhood friend. From here, we're going to fly 1,300 kilometers southwest to San Carlos de Bariloche and drive a further 200 kilometers south to our start point, Lake Cholila. Here we will put in and travel 27 kilometers down the Carrelefu River to its mouth in Lago or Lake Rivadavia. After crossing the 14 kilometer lake, our route continues down the river Rivadavia for 7 kilometers before hitting Lago Verde. A short 3 kilometer paddle should get us across this remote lake to our finish line and final campsite. Join us on this epic 50 kilometer canoe trip across the remote Patagonian wilderness. 50 kilometers, 3 days, 2 paddlers, 1 tent. Here we go! Tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about your, uh, your your clothing for the trip. The first thing I found in my closet. <laughs> Not the most warm. This is Gaston panicking. We have no time. It's getting dark very, very quickly. We just made it to a campsite. Uh, it's an established campsite. Uh, it's getting really late. So yeah, we're gonna take it and we need to get the tent going and somehow get a fire going. It's gonna get cold today. You can feel the temperature dropping really, really fast. So uh, get a move on. Let's do it. Oh, this 
breakfast. Uh, both. Both, both. Okay. Okay. No, no. This now. And the rice is too long for the rice away. Shit, how are we gonna open this now? <laughs> oh, bad. <laughs> we can open we're it with a, with a knife slowly. Okay. We need to go get water to the river though. It's like a 400 kilometer walk. 400 meter walk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. No water. Now let's find our way back to camp. <laughs> what a trick. generous with the oil in this. Yeah, trip, put huh? in more. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting smoked out, huh? Well, ooh. Ah. Oh, man, am I going straight into the no. Yep. Polenta yeah. absolutely sucks. Taste of nothing. Whoa. <laughs> Take care man. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much of nothing. <laughs> ah smoky. <laughs> So, morning. good morning, we just woke up a few minutes ago, we are packing everything all and we are going to another spot site to prepare the canoe. This is about minus two right now, you can see on the reading there. So uh, we're gonna try and get camp uh, sorted out really quickly and uh, make it to the water, build the canoe, have a little breakfast and get on the water. Let's go! What you doing, man? My fingers. Vení, gatito. Uy, salí de acá. Vamos a ver cómo flotamos primero. Ahí. 
Ahí no estaba el arma. Vamos, pará. Y otro más, remar para allá. ¡Sí! Oh my gosh, we're finally floating, boludo. So much gear and so much preparation for this moment and it's finally here, so now it's time to enjoy. We're gonna gear up with some uh, sunscreen because the sun here in the south of Argentina is brutal. So now we got 27 kilometers of this river and uh, we're very tempted to do some fishing, but unfortunately we are behind schedule and we need to make some serious progress. Uy, una trucha tremenda, boludo, ahí, mira. Y entonces, saca la caña, la lleno, concha de tu madre. Está lleno de truchas. No hay nadie, estamos solos. Ya son un massive trout, man. Dale fuerte. Ojo. Está bien, está, 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 está. Clava freno. Un poquito. Ojo. Bien ahí. Plum coming up. Oh, quick wash. Vamos bien, ok. Perfecto. Venga aquí. Venga. Beautiful. Beautiful, buddy. Bien. Yes, sir. Awesome, man. Ok, bien. Bien ahí. It became super shallow and then immediately like super deep, like a freaking wall, you know, that was crazy. Sí, ¿no? Kilometers, man. No, hijo de puta. Dale, jamón. Dale, boludo, tirá. There's some really nice um, rose hips that I'm just gathering. High in uh, vitamin C, which we don't have at the moment, so just gonna gather a few and eat them as I go along. If you take the seeds out, you're left with kind of just the outer bit. Don't eat that, don't eat the seeds, but that is fine. Mm, it's delicious. Made it to Lago Rivadavia after a long day paddling and uh, headwinds that were really tough actually. So here you can see 
This is whole. This is a whole of Lago Rivadavia. We have to go around this kind of bank, pebble bank that is formed here, and then it goes all south. We have about 14 kilometers that way um, to do until we hit the next river. But we are assessing the options. It's already about almost 5:30 p.m. and the uh, sun's going down pretty quickly. And on the far western side of the lake, there's really nothing there. It's super steep. So I think we're just gonna cash in what we have here. We got this looks really good here and it's inaccessible by by foot. So it should be pretty pristine. Let's go explore, let's find the campsite. I'm gonna help Gatti come out of the water and uh, take advantage of setting up an earlier camp and a quality a quality camp that we need. We need to chill out, make a fire, relax, make some food and recharge. It's been a bit of a rush since we started traveling, so we wanna unwind okay okay let's, let's go give me five good job buddy there's so much driftwood everywhere wood's not gonna be a problem at all it's gonna be easy to get a fire going if we can find a nice spot for the tent There's already a fire pit here, so clearly somebody has already camped here. More than one person thought this was a good spot, so um, we're gonna take it and uh, get set up. Satan sausages. Ah, dice que molino. Molino. Sí, me encanta esa quemadita. Vamos a probar esta salchicha de pájaro inglés, Satan. Samurai. Mira, ahí va a estar más caliente. Menos mal que la llevé, boludo. No tenía nada de fe al yo, yo menos, boludo. Está bien, está bien, está bien, está bien, está bien. Enough. Good. Full too salty? Shit. Le tiré un montón. <laughs> It's too hot. Nice dinner. This is great dinner, man. Good save from yesterday. Yesterday was polenta madness, man. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Al fuego, punta. Ahí se prende. Uf. Uf, What's up guys, it's about uh, 7 in the morning right now, the sun is coming out in the east just behind there and uh, it's absolutely freezing, it must be 0 or close to minus 1 right now, the lake is steaming it's absolutely quiet and we have to take this opportunity to try and cross it because yesterday the wind was raging quite a big lake and needless to say with the cold temperatures it's a risky risky thing to do especially towards the end of the day so taking advantage of these good conditions and it seems like the wind has shifted to to the north for northerly wind helping us push south so i mean it looks ideal we need to get on the water and make the best of these conditions so let's do it swimming nicely <laughs> thank you we're so blessed with this light uh, northerly wind it's pushing us straight south to our location the sun is on our back the fog is now burning off from the sunshine. We're trolling the fishing line as we go. We're surrounded by, uh, you know, two and a half thousand meter peaks with snow capped mountains and uh, everything is wooded and green. Just unbelievable, guys. We couldn't be more lucky right now with the conditions. Yesterday, 
we came and it, the wind was uh, was coming from the south and we were a little bit worried going to sleep last night thinking how long it would take us to cross this lake this is a huge blessing this would have taken us probably four times as long we're just reaching the southernmost point of the lake where the lake ends and the river Rivadavia starts so really good progress actually we've been paddling probably for about two and a half hours perfect conditions We got some couscous, some egg, and some seitan sausages. And for second course, we have some more couscous, some soya schnitzels, and some kind of veggie burger that got destroyed in the pack and made into some kind of scramble, you know? <laughs> it tastes good though. As always, no time like the present to suffer a little bit. Let's go. Trusty doll, that's all you need, guys. Crossing sí. the Rivadavia, the lake that traumatized us. <laughs> <laughs> We heard the rapid and we were informed of this uh, spot by a local to be careful. There's a, there's a stream over here that pushes water and the flow combines and pushes. That's super dangerous. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to take a portage here. No way. That's an accident waiting to happen. No way. See the flow comes all the way here, pushes right into that trap with the trees. That's super dangerous, man. Look at this shit. Look what I have to do, man. For this guy, he doesn't have a waterproof, waterproof stuff, man, or anything. Or shoes. I think I'm falling. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> You're strangling me, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Safe than sorry. So we came to another rapid, another no go. Pretty dangerous again. The flow goes that way, straight into some fallen trees. It's going straight, straight, straight into there, and then again, again there. Don't run it. You get trapped in there, you drown. Game over. See, 
tengo que bailar hoy igual todavía, eh. Ok. Rema, rema. No veo decir rema. Para. Rema. Fuerte. Bien, ya está. Bien, Gasti. Una más. Bien ahí. Go on the right, yeah. There's no fast water, so we should be okay here. Oh, this river is absolutely beautiful, but it has its uh, its dangers that you definitely have to respect. Yeah, we're progressing well. The flow is beautiful. Super wild river. It's wooded everywhere. Not one sign of civilization. It's beautiful. The water is crystal clear. There are trout pretty much everywhere. Every five minutes we, we see a trout somewhere. Tricky spot number three. You know, this probably looks a bit more doable, but again, this late in the day, there's no need to take any additional risk. There's like a ledge over there. That looks sketchy, man. The, the flow goes right over here. The trouble area goes this way and there's a little like stream here that kind of bypasses the danger. So we welcome that. One, two, three. Okay. 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 Salvaje, este es terrible. Another tree right, right there, man. Right in the, right in the middle of the flow. It's kind of full of hazards. It's kind of funny, right? Paddle, paddle, forte, 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 forte. Bien, bien. We don't need to paddle, we just need to control. Okay, a ver. Watch your head. Okay, watch this one. You see? Paddle now, paddle. Okay, let's go. Right through the middle. Sí. Ahí. Ahí. 
car. Ya está, ahí está el lago. Ya está. Llegamos. Lago Verde Lake. Let me think. The path. Good to be here. We're only a few hundred meters away from our finish line. Feels good, baby. Vamos, we made it. Are you happy that we made it? Vamos, we made it. Vamos. We're ready to the camp. Ah, come on. A little bit of camp admin over here. We've successfully dismantled the canoe. It only took about 15 minutes to do and another five minutes to clean it. Tents drying here with the last bit of light and uh, warmth of the day. Gasti is cooking us some much needed peanut butter toast to give us some energy for the next stage, which is putting back the tent and sorting all the gear out and cooking and finding firewood. We are completely spent. We're exhausted. We're a freaking expert by now. That is perfection, like man. Five star restaurant. Very good. <laughs> so good. <Gym. laughs> oh, man. Thank you for cooking that, man. You're welcome. It's hot. It's really nice. It's perfect. <laughs> yeah. the campsite manager and it's off season here and the site is completely closed and he's basically letting us stay here for free but we still insisted to give him some money to have some beers on us but it feels great to be here it's an absolutely beautiful lake to be in lago verde which means green lake beautiful there's no one here so it's amazing A 
And just like that, like the blink of an eye, our trip was coming to an end. 50 kilometers of pristine wilderness had lifted our souls and provided us with a much appreciated factory reset. It was a privilege to witness nature so intimately. This is a trip neither of us will ever forget. I can't wait to do it again.